Biafran referendum is not negotiable or else it will be bloody. Namikano slam Justice Nyako outside the court on negotiation table. Um, a negotiation was actually arranged between Namikano and the presiding judge. Uh, Justice Vincent Nyako, that was three days ago. You know, it still boils down on the release of Namde Kano. Because as it is now, even Justice Vincent Nyako on her own side is already shaking. Since the UK government has interfered on this matter. You know, and also giving them an ultimatum. <laughs> it's a very serious matter. So now, she has no other choice than to sit with Inamlekanu and negotiate over his release by putting up a condition. Which Inamlekanu turned down that very condition and said, it can never be negotiable. Or else, it may be bloody. It may cause deaths. <laughs> we will not experience that in Jesus' name. Let's check the content. This is morning news. What Nigeria needs now is a referendum. Now we can tell Justice Nyako on a negotiation table. Let me say this. Nigeria is sitting on a ticking time bomb. Anything can happen anytime. The major threat to Nigeria is not just the killings. The major threat is the radicalization of the population catalyzed by the killings. According to Namdi Kano, radicalization is the process of initiating someone into supporting an extremist ideology. Political radicalization is mostly aided by the government's failure to address sensitive national issues. Other types of radicalization include religious radicalization, tribal radicalization, etc. The our killing is strategic. The killers planned it to further radicalize the population in their bid to start another civil war in the country. They understand that our leaders care more about their political ambitions than than they care about human lives. So, they attack in the heart of a political power, wrestle. The leaders didn't blink an eye. They continued with their planned political dinner in their upper ecole. Their aides copied an edited past statement on similar events and posted on their official social media handles. This is the only response our government gives in time like this, a copied and edited script, void of compassion and full of empty rhetorics. The president won't speak. The vice president is seeking for continuity. The people are angry, bitter and disrespected. They will seek to follow the voice of political or tribal radical who promise liberation. This is the biggest threat to national security. The fact that such bloody events can occur simultaneously with a political dinner in Abuja, leaving the people vulnerable to radicalization. The impact of this simultaneous occurrence and resultant radicalization disturbed my peace all night. I woke up to screenshots of Mazen Namdekano's prophecies and I smiled bitterly, knowing deeply that thousands have already been initiated into extremist ideologies just because we have a foolish, unintelligent, unintentional and insensitive ruling class. Should we blame the vulnerable masses? No, they are reacting based on the information available to them. They are angry, emotional, exhausted and vulnerable. They will queue behind any extremist who promises to match violence with violence. 
without passing the reflect on the product of multiplying violence in society. We are sitting on a ticking time bomb and unfortunately it is almost too late to discuss any solution outside a radical one. Namdekano ended. Namdekano is a very blunt type of a very very blunt type. When he decides to speak, he speaks with all his mind and he speaks unshakingly. He speaks unshakingly. And again, when he wants to make his decision, he makes a decision. Look at what he has just said. And that is the truth. See, what is happening today in Nigeria is what Nigerian has single-handedly used his own hand to create. What has just happened in Owo, in Ondo, is what Namdekan is making reference to. It is the Nigerian government that has caused what happened in Ondo. By not making sure that what should be put in place is put in place. If what is needed to be put in place is put in place, that which happened in Owo, Owo wouldn't have happened. Look at why people are dying in pains. People are shedding tears. People are in sober reflection. <laughs> our, gov our government, our leaders are having a peaceful primary, enjoying themselves in a very luxurious hotel. Jubilating over the victory of one of them. <laughs> my leaders, my people, you cannot see what Nigerian is. You cannot see the reason why the Biafrans are calling for a division. That is the only way out. A friend of mine was telling me that it is even better than Nigerian divides because the regions are even too much. The languages are even too much. Maybe because um, because of the too much languages, so we can no longer understand ourselves. That is the reason. If we divide and the languages are prob probably uh, reduced to three or four, uh -huh. maybe by that by so doing, we'll be able to understand ourselves better. Abi, maybe that's the only way out. <laughs> Okay, oh. let me hear you, my dear people. I know what you uh, equally think about this that has just um, taken place. Okay, um, don't forget your comments and your opinions are 100% needed. Don't forget to leave them below in the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time. We upload any new videos. Thank you.